Thank you. New this midday, it's the 71st anniversary of the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor, which killed thousands of Americans and plunged us into World War II. Right now, the USS Midway Museum is commemorating those who died and honoring those survivors who are still living. 10 News reporter Bob Lawrence is live at the Midway with what this means to the survivors, Bob. Well, Bill, it's, it's done every year since it's opened, and it's about nine years now. The Midway has held a solemn ceremony up on its flight deck to remember December 7th. And in fact, the San Diego chapter of the Pearl Harbor Survivors, which is known as the Carnation chapter, is growing fewer in number every year. In fact, a solemn part of the service is the two bell ceremony, which remembers those who have passed. And this year, as many as 20 members of the San Diego chapter have died. They were all remembered. The tall ship California, just off the uh, museum's bow with a cannon salute, brought it all home for survivor Doral McKee. I have a heart for the guys that didn't survive because some of my buddies didn't survive. And uh, death in any, any circumstances, whether it's a wartime or a car accident, is a death. Yeah, so I. It just brings it back. Yes, yes, it does. After Doyle McKee survived the attack at Kaneohe Bay, he found himself later on an aircraft carrier six months later in the Battle of Midway, for which, of course, this aircraft carrier and now a museum is named. In our second half hour of the Midday Show, we will hear from those active duty sailors on what this day and meeting those survivors means to them. We're live at the Midway. Bob Lawrence, 10 News.